Hey guys, it's Melvin, aka Rhymebell. Welcome back to a different tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to schedule events or tasks using Nodecron in Node.js. Let's go! First things first, let's use command prompt to create a folder. And this is pretty much a fancy way to flex on the haters when you create a folder or file. And let's call our folder node scheduler. I'm just going to butcher it on purpose because then it's not really a mistake. And then we're going to CD into this folder and we're going to initialize npm. And what this does, it's going to create a package.json file for us, which is going to have our structure for our npm project. Once done, go ahead and open up your folder in your code editor. For me, I'm using Atom, but you can use Visual Studio Code or Notepad++, or you can straight up just use Notepad and just be raw. Whatever editor you use, make sure to create a new JavaScript file. For me, I'm going to call it index.js because it's the same name as in my package.json where it says your entry file name. In our index.js, I'm going to import node cron. And node cron is an external library that allows you to run cron jobs in node. And in our CMD, we're going to use npm to install node cron in our project. You simply have to type in npm i node cron. Just like that, you're done. Next up, we're going to create a function called create cron daytime. And all this does is return a string with the very parameters we pass in. Now this function is going to come in super handy once we start working with cron.schedule. Let's test out our new function and also run it. Now in command prompt, to run our file, we type in node and the name of the file we want to run. Awesome, it works. I mean, of course it does. Now this is exciting. When we type in cron.schedule, this is a function that allows us to sauce in two parameters. The first one being our datetime parameter and the second being our callback function. We can simply sauce in our custom daytime function in the first parameter. For example, if I have a program that I want running every single day at 11.21 a.m., I would simply pass in 0 for the seconds, 21 for the minute, 11 for the hour, and keep in mind the hour is 24 hour cycle, and for the rest of the parameters, I would simply pass in a string star. And a string star simply means every or all. In our callback function, I'm simply gonna have a console.log, but keep in mind, this is where you would have your super exciting, cool program run. And since 1121 is hours away, I'm gonna change the time to something a little bit more realistic. Now let's go back to our command prompt and restart our program. Oh my goodness, it actually worked. That's awesome. Okay, one thing I want to fix, I want to have a console.log for when the program actually starts running. Let's go ahead and update our time to do something different. In our seconds place, I'm simply going to change it from 0 to star divided by 5. And what this is going to do is going to make our program work every 5 seconds. Go ahead and save your work back to your command prompt, restart your terminal. Otherwise, it's not going to reflect the changes you just made. And now when we run our program, we should now see that every fifth second on the clock is going to activate our program to run. Is your mind blown yet? It should be. Now what we're going to do next is create a cron job that calls another cron job. This is cron jobception. This is insane. And the key to doing this is to make sure your second cron job is set as a variable and that variable is a function.
Awesome! So now when we refresh our program, we should see something interesting. But now that I have 25 seconds, let me tell you about, I'm <laughs> just kidding, no sponsorships, but we're almost at 4,000 subscribers, which is insane. And this is awesome. It works fine. Now this is super cool. Now I want to add a counter system. So every time the function is called every five seconds, we can iterate our counter, which would mean that if we hit a certain value on our counter, we can do something cool. Or we can stop our program, which is what I'm going to do. And this is awesome. It works perfectly fine. And you can see the program exits the moment it's done. And that's how to use a scheduler in Node.js with Nodecron. And that's it guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time.